It's to be only those searching call me shit. I'm an anthropologist and soldiers. Listen, if you're about to rent a flat or a house, you can check the historical information of that place. When the building was built, uh, how many tenants lived there before, how long it's been vacant. If you see an advertisement because you you need uh, to you want to rent a house or you want to rent, let's say maybe a flat somewhere. Yeah, you see that the place has been vacant for over three years. Are you going to say, well, maybe they just had to do maintenance? It does take three years to maintenance on a building, and if it's a very old building, maybe it's not even suitable to rent to people. If someone uh, left if a tenant left and within a month another tenant moved in that can happen maybe two or three months everything after four months you have to start thinking don't a minute the real estate office is not gaining anything having vacant residences they do not they need tenants to make their money and to keep their business going so if they need tenants, and there are a lot of people out there who are willing to become tenants, there are a lot of people out there looking for places to rent, how the heck do you have a residency over here that has remained vacant for such a long time? Is it because the building is not in a good condition, and that's why a lot of people said, I don't want, want, want to live here? Or if you have a place that had, let's say, for the, in the past five years, 20 tenants, so people move in, move out, move in, move out. Ask yourself, why are the tenants moving out so quickly? It's because there's something off with the building. It's because the real estate office is not uh, doing their part of the deal by maintaining the building. Or it's because the place is haunted uh, by some demonic presence. You have to do your research. You have to do your investigation to figure out what goes on over here. Now. Why do I use the example of renting a place and checking the history of the place? Because sometimes people rent, go to rent and think, oh, it looks nice. They say, yes, it's signed the, the, the contract. They, they don't check the history and the context. If this place, let's say you, you rent a house and house, the rent is not, it's not expensive, it's quite cheap. Why is it so cheap? Look at the neighborhood. Is it in a good neighborhood? If it's in a good neighborhood, how come it's so cheap? If it's in an abandoned neighborhood and it's so cheap, okay, I can understand that. But if it's in a well-off neighborhood or a neighborhood where you have all the provision nearby and it's so cheap, why it's so cheap? I'm not telling you to complain about it being cheap. I mean, that may work in your advantage. I mean, you, you can keep more money to yourself, less living costs for you, but still ask yourself why it's so cheap. But this shouldn't only count when it comes to renting a, uh, a place or when it comes to purchasing house or whatever with everything in life check a little bit of the history check the, the current social situation and check what's missing if something is missing check why it's missing if it's something irrelevant that's missing um for example you're about to uh move into a student dorm but you don't see any broom around there Come on, maybe the broom is somewhere in a wardrobe. Or you can just buy another broom. Okay, that's something quite tiny and insignificant. But if you go to, if you move into a student dorm, I notice that um, the doorbells ain't working. Or you notice that half of the student dorm is empty, even though it's high seas and many students are looking for a place to stay. You have to think, hmm, it's a bit weird. In any case, with everything in life, look at the history. You don't have to go back thousands of years. Just look at the history that happened there. Look at the current social situation and check if everything matches uh, reality. Use your common sense. What's missing? If it's a family there, let's say you, have, let's say you, you, you see across the street there's a house there. It's a family house, so-called, but you barely see people going in and out of the house. It's a family house, um, but you, it has, it's been over four months since you last seen the children. Did the family move? Did, did a judge, did a court order, move the children out of custody from the parents? What goes on? 
We need to pay attention to our environment. And when something is off, we document it. Later, we reflect on it. Not too later, we reflect on it. And if something surges off, we check what we can do about it. What can we do about it? Simple as that. What's it for now? Give me a good night, Christ, and be at peace.